I'm going to uh, share how I built my uh, reference grade uh, speaker cables. So I'm using this uh, Mogami W3104 um, professional grade studio cables. This is what they use in studio. This is literally thick. It's like a little more than half inch thick. And um, it's the uh, four 12 gauge conductors in there. They has four conductors and each conductor is 12 gauge so total effective is probably like seven or eight gauge of a uh, wire so based on my experience this is the one of the cable that deliver the sound with honesty without losing anything this is a high resolution very high quality cable it uses a mogami uh, neglex uh, copper which is i think is a uh, one of the best in the world and um so I'm going to cut the jacket out, the black jacket, outer layer. I'm going to do a two cable, two conductor for each channel. So yeah, these kind of uh, audio quest uh, banana plugs cannot take this kind of big gauge wires. So what I get is this one. This one is made by uh, Parts Express. So these are made in Taiwan. This is made of a solid brass and then I'll gold plated and it also use the allen key for the tightening the cable and look inside it's so big so this one can take up to like seven or eight gauge so that's why I have to use and this is a by far one of the best banana plug you can buy for your money because not all banana plugs are created equal by the way, this video is not sponsored by any company, either Mogami or Parts Express or anybody. This is my own doing. I just want to share how I built my reference great speaker cables because I used to pay uh, up to like $1,800, $2,000 for a foot pair of uh, speaker cables like seven, six years ago. And then there is like another banana plugs that are really can take uh, this, this kind of thick cable, which is a KNU concept banana plugs. Uh, it's a little cheaper than these Parts Express, but uh, the Parts Express is a little bit better quality. So this is what I'm going to do, and this is what I'm going to use. So uh, what do you need in this setup is four pairs of uh, banana plugs, these solid, very good quality gold-plated banana plugs, Mogami, cables are w3104 the length is as you need it these retail for five to eight dollars depends on the location and you will need a heat shrink tubing 5a tubing the heat shrink tubing and i'm gonna use this uh, nylon uh, wire braiding this is a mesh it's all very soft. I don't like uh, PET. This one is a little more expensive. They are not expendable, so you need to buy right size. So the one I have, this one is a bit bigger than half inch. So I have to buy 5A uh, this braiding. This is very solid. This is made in USA. You can buy on eBay or Amazon. I will have the links in the video description. The problem I have is my wire cutter doesn't fit okay I have to cut these manually using the razor blade I'm gonna take out the jacket outer layer of the cable so I'm gonna uh, take out this black layer and then I'm gonna cut it and then I pull it out and then two conductors on each channel Oh, by the way, this cable is very flexible. Usually, uh, I go five inches on the uh, speaker end, and then I go like four inches on the uh, M side because M side you don't need a big space behind it. And let's do this side. This side I'm only gonna do like a little over four inches. My advice is when you buy these uh, cables, only buy as you need it. There you go. I'm going to put the jackets on. I'm going to make sure uh, it nice and tight and before I put the banana plugs and put everything together. You know, a lot of people think I'm 
I'm anti cable guys. I'm not anti cable guys. Good quality cable makes very big difference in sound quality. I'm just not a fan of a buying super expensive exotic cables. So when your component produces a signal, this cable will deliver to your speakers with high efficiency and purity and without losing any signal between the components. That's why I prefer these kind of high quality professional grade cables. So uh, I have done stripping the wires. Only downside on this one is this one is not expendable so make sure you buy the right size. For this purpose this cable is a little over half inch thick. So I cannot buy half inch braiding. I have to buy 5 8. For those of you in Europe and metric uh, countries, I will have that uh, in the video for the size conversion, what size I use. So I will have all the links in the video description. So for now, I'm just going to measure the length that I'm going to need. So um, here's a little tip. When you're using this kind of a nylon uh, high quality braiding, you need to cut longer than actual wire that you're gonna put on or put inside overlapping the outer jacket because it will make it easier for this uh, heat shrink to grip tightly just gonna cut it put this inside the braiding so to do that I'm gonna Use the, uh, this paint, painter's tape to uh, loom the wire together. Man, this thing is tight. Even with the 5.8, uh, it's not a uh, loose fitting. Actually, it's a perfect fitting, I would say. The jacket is already on. So this is how it look. This is uh, one of the best speaker cable that you can do. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. So usually I like to slide this shrink wrap before I put anything. So I put it here. And then after that, I have these uh, pre-cut uh, wire things here. And then uh, I'm not sure if you notice, I already uh, cut the wires, so the jacket I just need to pull it out after I insert these. In after I insert the wires inside the sheathing, this is how I do it all the time. Pretty much all my wires. Here you go. And if I have a bigger sheathing I, I would have put it together but since I don't have a bigger one so I just use a two smaller one because uh, these are a bit hard to find on the right size and then cut this in and slide this one in So this is it. This is how it look. Now I'm going to heat it. I'm gonna leave it aside. Push it down. Then I get these on. This is very easy, it's just a little bit time consuming, you know. Probably like each wire is gonna take like 30 to 45 minutes. That's how long it's gonna take. You're stripping and making everything right. Oh, also, uh, I don't like to strip the wire too long because usually what I do is before I strip it I just insert it in there then I measure it I only cut what I need usually like this kind of a high quality banana plugs 
like a three quarter inch to inch uh, strip that good enough. So usually this is a one inch that I'm gonna uh, strip the jacket. So that's how I do it. Okay, get this on. I like to hit it really tight because, uh, and then make sure you cool it down before you touch it. It's not like burning or anything, it's like, uh, you know, before it's hardened, you don't want to move the wires around. So, let it cool down for a few minutes until it's hardened. This is uh, it's soft to touch and stay hot, so which is not a good idea to touch it right now. So then I'm gonna put these on. So this is a little tip. Sometimes this uh, heat shrink wrap is hard to slide on after you put the sheathing or this braided nylon on the top. So usually what I do is I just tape it this end, then. Uh, so tape this in and so this is how I do just use the tape uh, electric tape or paint painters tape doesn't matter and you can slide this on then this will hold without moving the uh, sleeving then after that you can remove it make sure everything is relaxed red and brown, orange and yellow, just to make sure. And then, let's put this loom here. Now, I'm going to shrink it. I like to a bit overheat it and then uh, I, I'm not going to touch it for a while because it makes it stronger bonding in my opinion because when you are heating the shrink tubing make sure the texture of the out you know inside layer shows up that that's how they're gonna bond it together I'm not sure if you can see it this is how they look so let it, I'm going to let it cool it down and I work on this one. This is a finer stage, put in the banana plugs. So this is how thick the copper is on each channel. Right channel is done, I'm going to do the left channel. Just need to make sure nice and tight in there. There you go. That's it. This one is done. Now I'm going to put a shrink wrap to connect these two so it's gonna be like uh, about an inch inch and a half somewhere yeah about inch and a half there you go so this is how I do it, just shrink it, so 
So this gonna last me very very long time. I have to make sure mine is strong enough because I do a lot of uh, in and out removing and changing the speakers and all that so I do it all the time so I just have to make sure there you go now I shrink it all right my friend this is how my cable look this is final product this cable is about five and a half feet I will update the information when I'm start using this cable because I'm not gonna use it right away in my system I'm gonna use it in the uh, uh, TV room just to make sure it's well uh, you know run in and breaking in and this is the uh, best speaker cable that you can do it yourself I can go against many other speaker cable in terms of uh, quality fit and finish and sound quality most importantly so this is my Tabama uh, speaker cables. Thank you for watching and happy listening.